Are you considering moving to Sacramento, California, but you're just not sure if Sacramento is the right city for you? In this video, we are talking all about the pros and the cons of living in Sacramento, California. We're gonna show you the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between. Make sure you stick around to the very end and make sure you get all the information to see if moving to Sac is right for you. On this channel, we create videos every day about what it's like to eat, sleep, live, play, and everything you need to know about living in Sacramento. If that is the information you want, make sure you tap that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you're notified every time we drop new video content. We have so many people calling us who are moving or relocating here and we absolutely love helping them. Thinking about moving or relocating to anywhere in Northern California? Make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, or however you want to get a hold of us. We've got your back moving to the greater Sacramento area. Sacramento is an awesome city with so many great reasons to live here, but there are also some not so great things about Sacramento. So be sure to stay to the very end to hear what some of our cons or things that we can't stand about Sacramento. First up is our list of pros. Living in California comes with a high price tag and cost of living in Sacramento is 20% higher than the national average across the US. However, if you are looking for a more affordable option in California, then Sacramento is a great place to check out. According to costofliving.net, when you compare the cost of living in Sacramento to Southern California or the Bay Area, our cost of living in Sacramento is 42% less than those areas. So if you're looking for more bang for your buck in California, Sacramento is a great place to be. The next pro is jobs. Sacramento has a ton of different options when it comes to jobs. Obviously being the capital of California, we have many state and government jobs. We also have a booming tech industry with many FinTech jobs, IT jobs, as well as e-commerce jobs. We also have many medical jobs in Sacramento with UC Davis Health Center, Sutter Health, and Kaiser Permanente. Our third pro on our list is Sacramento has many different neighborhoods that each offer a unique vibe. If you were wanting the city lifestyle with walkability to awesome restaurants, bars, and breweries, or coffee shops, we have Midtown. If you're looking for a great home with unique charm, awesome history, we have the Fab 40s. Or if you're looking for a more established neighborhood close to the park, there's Lamb Park. Sacramento has so many different neighborhoods and many different styles of houses to choose from. There's a neighborhood for every different style in Sacramento. Fourth on our list of pros is the sports teams here in Sacramento. If you like catching a game, we have three different major sports teams right here in Sacramento. We have the NBA team, the Sacramento Kings, who play at the newer Golden One Center. We have a AAA baseball team, the Sacramento River Cats, who play at Sutter Health Park. We also have the Sac Republic soccer team, who play at Hart Health Park. So if you want to check out a basketball, baseball, or soccer game, Sacramento is a great place for that. Another pro for Sacramento is it is centrally located, which is great for day trips. Sacramento is about a two hour drive to beautiful Lake Tahoe or a two hour drive to San Francisco or the Bay Area. So if you need to escape town, we have great options close by. The sixth pro on our list for Sacramento is that there's so much to do here. From checking out amazing parks at McKinley or the Capitol to checking out one of our amazing museums here. If art is your thing, we have the awesome Crocker Art Museum with new exhibits all the time. Or if you like learning about history, you can check out the California State Railroad Museum and learn all about train history and even walk through some of the train cars. We also have Sutter's Fort Historic State Park where it feels like you're walking right into history. We also have the Sacramento Ballet. You can even check out some pretty awesome concerts with top headliners throughout the year at Golden One Center. There are so many more awesome things to do in Sac. This is just really the beginning of the list. Another pro of Sacramento is this is a river town. This means we have awesome water sports. You can go boating on the Sac River or kayaking or paddle boarding on the American River. And if you venture out a little bit further from Sacramento, we have Folsom Lake. Along these waterways are a ton of awesome trails, great for running, hiking, and biking. Needless to say, if you enjoy boating, wakeboarding, water skiing, or paddle boarding, or just hanging out by the water, Sacramento is the right place for you. Eighth on our list is the Sacramento International Airport. So if you need to get out of town or you enjoy traveling the world, our airport is an international airport with many airplane companies flying many destinations every day. Our last pro for today's list is Sacramento was recently coined the farm to fork capital, meaning we have some of the best and freshest food, which brings us to the amazing restaurants. Sacramento has a mix of high end and budget friendly restaurants. We also have awesome farmers markets that always have something yummy and fresh from local farms. Now before we get onto our cons list, if you're liking this video so far, go ahead and comment down below what some of your favorite things to do in Sacramento is. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and share this video. It really helps out our channel. Now onto our list of cons. The first con on our list in Sacramento is walkability. 
Sacramento is a large city with many different neighborhoods and areas. Some parts of Sacramento have good walkability while other parts just simply don't. If you are in Midtown and you work in Midtown and everything you need to do is in Midtown, then you can pretty much walk to amazing restaurants and bars, your employment. But outside of that, the walkability isn't very great. The next con is public transportation. While Sacramento does have public buses and the light rail system, our light rail system doesn't go that many places in the city. It's pretty limited. The third con on our list is traffic. The city has grown and traffic has increased, and our traffic infrastructure hasn't quite caught up to the overall growth of the area. However, it's still not as bad as other parts of California, such as the Bay Area or Southern California. Fourth on our list of cons is new home builds in the city limits. Sacramento is a pretty established area and has been built up for many years. If you're looking for a new home, you'll have to go outside the city limits of Sacramento. The fifth con on our list is wildfire smoke during wildfire season. Now this doesn't happen every year, however, when we do have a bad wildfire year, the smoke gets carried into the valley with the wind and it sits in the city for weeks. The last con on our list is allergies. Sacramento has the nickname of being the city of trees and with this title comes the allergies. If you are someone who has never had allergies and you move here, you very well could have them. However, with the potential allergies, it is an absolutely beautiful place to live with many awesome things to do. So if you do get allergies, it's totally worth it. We just wrapped up our pros and cons of Sacramento. But if Sacramento isn't your jam or it's not for you, that's what we're here for. But we can't help you if you don't reach out. So give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. So now you're going to be seeing some of these other videos pop up. Go ahead and click around, check out some of the other videos, and learn more about living in Northern California.